hi and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about something that is rather sad if it is true. Jamie Foxx left blind and paralyzed. Now, is this true? I don't know. I can't really tell you. I know that there are multiple articles about this claiming that it is rumored, some saying that it might actually be true, while others say that it's not true, that he is doing all right, getting better every day. Now, let's go ahead and get into this article because I believe that no matter what, if it is true or not, it's something that we should definitely talk about. All right, let's get into the article. All right, here on MSM, which is Microsoft, and from what I understand is that they just take news stories from around the globe, paste it in there. They don't even care if it's true or not. So take everything with a grain of salt. Find these things out yourselves. Uh, I'm just going to be reading the article. Oh, shocker. Jamie Foxx left paralyzed and blind from blood clot in his brain after receiving COVID-19 vaccine, sources claim. Now, if true, it's freaking scary. A lot of people who also didn't want to take the jab, who had to, to keep their jobs and such things, such bullshit things, are now suffering. And look, even if it's a minority of the people who got vaccines who are having problems, and I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people who have problems since I got the vaccine. I'm not going to be talking about what problems they are. I'm not, you know, there's no reason to talk about it, but know that there are problems out there. Horrific health details have been revealed regarding Jamie Foxx's mysterious medical state. The Django Unchained star is said to be partially paralyzed and blind, in addition to a series of other complications after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Which is not a vaccine, it was an experimental drug to thin out the heart. <clears throat> Hollywood journalists... A.J. Benza claimed after speaking to a source close to Fox, Jamie has a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it, confessed the, pro uh, the broadcaster, who formerly worked as a columnist for the New York Daily News and as a host of the E! series Mysterious. Mysteries and scandals during the appearance on Dr. Drew Pinsky. Online show Ask Dr. Drew. The blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Benza alleged as he insisted his insider was someone in the room with firsthand knowledge of Fox's hospitalization. Again, do we know if this is true or not? No, we don't. But it is quite possible. I, I, I hope it's not. I hope that the sources claiming that it is not true are right, because this would be very sad. And, and Jamie Foxx is a great actor. He's done great work. A little unappreciated, I believe. You know, he's definitely better than what he gets credit for. Definitely. Um, I'm speak. I'm thinking, is that why he blew up on the set of week before, uh, a week before his med this medical emergency happened? The veteran journalist asks, Pinsky, Pinsky, I don't know, is that why he fired three or four people because he had had it with these mandates? Quite possibly. Fox was admitted to the hospital after suffering a medical complication on Thursday, April 11th, although specific details on his current health status have been difficult to discover. The 55-year-old's medical vows, vows mounted while filming his latest movie back in action. The movie, also starring Cameron Diaz, 
has moved forward with production without Fox using a body double in his place. Eh. Yeah. On Friday, May 12th, Fox's daughter, Corinne, announced conflicting information that didn't align with numerous other reports regarding the actor's well-being. Sad to see how the media runs wild. My dad has been out of the hospital for weeks recuperating. I hope this is true. Fox's daughter insisted. In fact, he was playing pickleball yesterday. Thanks for everyone's prayers and support. We have an exciting work announcement coming next week, too. Again, I hope, I hope, I hope so dearly that his daughter is right. And that the rumors about him being paralyzed and blind because of a blood clot in his brain is not true. Benza addressed the family statement on his podcast, calling the pickleball claims all lies and baloney. If you read into what they were saying earlier on, he is communicating with us. That doesn't mean talking. That could be anything. Writing, sign language. I know those little code words. Benza continued to assume of Fox's current capabilities. Then you tell me your father is playing pickleball. Give me a break. There is a great shroud of secrecy around Jamie Foxx, he added. Pensky Pensky provided his two cents on the matter, stating, Blood in the brain is a cerebral bleed. It is not a stroke. A stroke is a blood clot in an artery to the brain that cuts off the blood supply to the brain and the brain dies. It has been widely known that he had a stroke, right? They have said stroke many times. To say it is a blood clot in the brain, it is a stroke. It is a blood clot in an artery that cuts off the supply. That part of the brain is dead. The television personality continued. Benskin concluded it has very serious consequences. It depends on which artery and what the autonomy of that artery is to what parts of the brain and what not. So, that being said, I hope truthfully that his daughter is right, that he's doing well, that he's playing games, that they have a big announcement coming soon. I really hope this is true. I, I really don't want there to be any complications, whether it's because of a vaccine or not. If, though, it is true and that the complications do come from the vaccine, there needs, something needs to happen. These people who pushed the vaccine, these people who made the vaccine, everyone needs to be held accountable. And for every stupid ass person who said, you have to get it, go F off. Look, if you got it, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I had to get it. I had to get it for my job. I would have been not able to work. I wouldn't have been getting any money if I had decided not to get a freaking jab. Now, if I had done that and would have been unemployment, you know, unemployed and I would get unemployment money because how else would I be getting money in that time? Because nobody's hiring right now. You know, I'm without a job right now. I'm getting unemployment money right now because nobody is hiring right now, here in Germany at least, at least not in the field that I work in. Sadly. That being said, if I had gotten back then, if I had said, no, I'm not getting the jab, I'm going to be fired, and I wanted to live anyway, the state would have told me, oh, guess what? If you want money, you get the jab. So it wouldn't have made any difference. There, I, I wouldn't have, you know, I may have, I may have 
been able to make it a few months without, you know, needing to have a job or get money in some way. But then I would have been out on the street. So it really freaking sucks. I had to take it. I didn't want it. And again, my complications with it. You know what? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Like, look, you clearly see I'm a big guy. So my. You know, I can go. I, I go every day. I go for fast walking. I, I walk. So I can't really jog. Jogging is not, you know, freaking hurts sometimes, you know, and, and I can't do it for long. So I go for walks. I take long walks, you know, and I, you know, speed walk. I really walk fast. But I have absolutely zero. Like when I, you know, before I took the job, I could make, you know, my normal rounds. I could do two rounds, no problem. You know, no problem. If I do one round, and I have a little bit of a hill, true, but ever since I've got the job, I do that hill, and I'm up on the hill like... <sighs> can't take it now since you know since i do this every day it has gotten a little bit better but small margin like i'm still i i walk up that hill and i'm breathless i may not go <laughs> but i'm breathless and i wasn't before literally days the day before I took the jab, I was walking that round two times. No problem getting, I wasn't getting breathless. It was normal. It was okay. It was good. Everything was fine. I was, I was doing great. I was feeling great. Yeah, after that jab, just, I don't know, maybe like, maybe a week. Give me a week, you know. Maybe a little bit longer, I got sick, you know, everything, fine. That happens when you get a, you know, a shot like that. You might get sick. But after that, breathless. All the time, all the freaking time. And it has really not gotten much better at all. So people need to be held responsible for this it doesn't matter in what country every country germany america france england everywhere now i'm going off on a freaking vaccine rant i don't want to we were talking about jamie fox again let's go back to jamie fox again again i have to say this if this is true people need to pay people need to be held responsibility this need there needs to be a light shown on this that being said, I hope and I pray that his daughter is right and not just fibbing us. I hope she is right that Jamie Foxx is doing well, that he's playing games and, you know, and that they have a big announcement coming. I really hope this is true. I really do. I don't wish any complications on anyone. Right. So, hey. That was this article. I, I I thought it definitely needed to be said. It needed to be talked about. It needs to be put out there. Again, I don't know what is true. I don't know if it's true that he's doing well. I don't know if it's true if he's paralyzed and blind. I just know it wouldn't be the first person, first celebrity, to have a huge shroud around him. And people, fans, not knowing what's going on. Um, I'm not sure if, if any of you are interested in Formula One. 
I mean, I'll be honest, I, I've never really been into it. I don't care much about it. Now, I know Michel Schumacher because he's German. And he's like one of the best who has ever, you know, raced. He was on vacation. He was skiing down a hill, had an accident. There were rumors that he's a vegetable. There are rumors that he's doing better. There's rumors that he may not even, you know, I don't know. I don't know because there's a shroud around it. So, that being said, can it happen that there's a shroud around it that we will not get the truth? Could damn well be. I would like the truth. I'm sure you do too. All right, comment down below what you think. I find this horrific if it is true. I'm so, so freaking sad. And I will pray for him. And if it's not true, and his, you know, I will still pray that everything is completely fine. And anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. Have you heard of stories like these shrouded in, in mystery where we don't know if it's true or not? Let me know. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. All right, until next time, take care.